Hey everybody, my name is Swade. Let's get started on a stream. So last week we played um we played as Japan. And we're doing the challenge where we just wait a hundred turns and then see what happens if we can still win on monarch difficulty. And we actually had quite a bit of luck. We took out most of England, and we should be able to clean the rest of them up at our leisure. So right now we face the issue of how to progress the game forward, and I think we're in a very strong position. I doubt that this save foul will be giving us too much trouble, but we do have to make some important decisions right now. And I think one of those important decisions is do we switch to Republic? And I think the answer is yes. So I'm going to get started on that uh, right now. Ooh. So now that I'm at peace with England, I can actually uh, try to scout west. There, I've I got contact with like a few of these civs, but not as many as I would have liked. So uh, let's see what we can do to fix that. I guess we'll leave these buildings up. Uh, so one interesting thing is that if you if you kill an enemy completely, then their cities can't flip to you. Your cities can't flip to them anymore. And since England doesn't seem to have any like small island cities, I think if we just take them out, then we don't have to worry about Coventry flipping. Because uh, if we were worried about Coventry flipping in the long term, we'd just sell all the would sell the market at least, not the temple maybe. How did we even get that temple? Anyway, not our problem. So, um, I guess yeah, harbor is useful. I think we're going anarchy though. Uh, just straight away. Yeah, I honestly think with just these two armies, we could, and whatever we have on this island, we could take out the, the rest of the English. So let's uh, let's switch now. Oh, it's only two turns, because we're... Wait, hold up. Let's make sure we have Republic. Okay, we have Republic, but we don't have literature. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I'll do a, like a quick run and see what... Uh... What resources everybody has? Or sorry, what text and stuff? Hey Ben. It's funny. Have you been commenting on my channel? Your name looks familiar. I guess I might be thinking of the character from Parks and Recreation, but <laughs> if I'm not, then yeah. How is the Iron Island doing? It's doing fantastic. So the thing about this island, so we had to like suicide some galleys to get across, but it is our only source of iron. There's no island on the mainland, no no iron on the mainland, and no iron on England's uh, starting island. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to get some samurais anytime soon, but uh, we will have railroads. Oh, yellow. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have railroads, and we'll have access to our Golden Age. We're not going to get locked out of our Golden Age due to lack of iron. Uh, so yeah, we do have Republic right here, so let's switch governments right now. I'd, I'd like to take my this daily occasion to remind people that monarchy is absolute garbage. Don't play monarchy. I mean, there's some very specific scenarios where, of course, you do want to play monarchy, but generally, it should not be not be what you're aiming for. Oh, nice! Wow, that's a pretty substantial increase in difficulty. Have you been winning on Emperor? Ah, uh, that's true. Um, are you in uh, in in? Uh, it's it's or maybe you're in Australia then. Yeah, like I try to do it at this time because it it works best for people who are both in Europe and in North America. But if people are in like India or Australia or I don't know Hawaii or something, it might be a bit off. Okay, we didn't starve too bad here. Or we didn't disorder too hard. Oh, Cambodia, cool. Uh, okay, we brought our settler across. I think we're just gonna plant here, I guess. This takes out the most tiles, um, hmm. We'd get this tile, which allows us to double move onto York. Uh, so I think that's a good spot. 
I don't think it will flip. Uh, am I still exploring the continents? Yeah, well, so I was trying to meet as many civs as possible. So, like, I could have done, like, the full tour around the Greek island, but it was pretty clear that they're the only civ here. Same thing with the Arabs. Um, Persia. Oh, yeah, I tried to get over... What happened here? Did I lose it to barbs? Or Oh, it was a Kura. Was this a Kura? I think this was a Kura. Yeah, and it just it sank right here. Uh, yeah, this one... Persia's on both sides here, so they're huge. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's someone... Oh, it looks like there's... Yeah, there's someone's border here. Yeah. Uh, so maybe I should have done a th more thorough job, but I was excited to meet as many civs as possible as soon as possible. So I, I rushed it a bit. That's okay. We're doing great in terms of tech. Uh, generally, the progress, uh, the tech project progress, sorry, the tech progress. This game is pretty slow because I think it's archipelago and there's not a lot of contact between the civs. Like sometimes the islands just rearrange themselves in a way, or arrange themselves in a way such that it's hard for the AI civs to get contact with each other. Even specifically, the the also it comes down to which civ builds the great lighthouse because often they end up in a position where they can get contact with everybody. Uh, but if they're on an island alone, then that might not be the case. Uh, so yeah, we're going Republic. That was quick. Uh, okay, no settler. I thought he was trying to settle that before I could, but it's not the case. Uh, let's keep a couple archers outside of London. Maybe an army too. And yeah, let's check out unit support. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's get rid of some of these warriors, I guess. Yeah, so this is an important thing to do as soon as you switch into Republic for the first time, or Democracy, I guess. In some cases, even Feudalism. Just look at what your unit support costs are. And Monarchy, too. It's not as bad in Monarchy. Oh, in Monarchy, like, you benefit from the military place. There's no military place in Republic. So these warriors are just dead weight unless I, like, desperately need a the crappiest unit in the game. <laughs> uh, so we get rid of them. The other th important thing is to get your cities to above uh, size 7. Above size 6, sorry. Hey, jury. Uh, so yeah, now that I've made peace, like I, I was fighting like a long, grueling war against the English. Like I needed all of my production sending units over. But now that's that that's cleaned up, we can start uh, go back going back to try to contact people. It's kind of hard, though, because we already contacted these two. This is a, like a half the world away. This is like the only way left. Uh, I guess maybe we could scout the back of the Arabs, but Sapporo could flip. Uh, no, it can't. This city actually literally cannot flip. So it has no foreign citizens. The citizen is Japanese. That's why it's called Sapporo. And there's no foreign tiles in the BFC. So this city, it is literally impossible for the city to flip. Precisely, DRC. Yes. Sorry, I didn't answer your question. That I did see it, but I didn't answer your question. Yeah, we're doing part two. Uh huh. We got temple there. Not. I'm not usually a fan of temple, but not like I'll sell them if I have them. Uh, so Coventry can flip because this has. I don't think it needs a barracks. Let's get rid of the barracks. I don't want to pay maintenance on that. English territory and BFC. So BFC is the big fat cross. So you see, um, there's no clear example of it here. So you see the shape, oh yeah, like these tiles. So one, two, three, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five, one, two, three. So these tiles are the BFC. If any of these tiles had like orange, they were like English territory, then the city could flip to England. And if there were any foreign citizens, then the city can flip to England. Like London can still flip because one of the citizens is English. But if neither of those two are, like, there's a whole extended formula, but there is, like, two main parts of the formula. One is multiplied by foreign tiles in BFC, and one is meant to multiplied by foreign citizens. So if foreign citizens equals zero and uh, foreign tiles equals zero, yeah, it's, like, one, one of these terms plus the other, then the whole term is equal to zero. It doesn't matter how close it is to his cap, because that is multiplied by zero. Uh, so the percent chance of a flip ends up, to ends up close to zero. Uh, let's just, uh, I don't, oops. Hmm. I, I guess I should probably st keep stacking army. 
Uh, once, oh, hmm, these guys, do we go north? I don't think there's anything north. Let's uh, try our luck against with, ah, I remember what happened. So we went east, right? And it's like, oh, there's nothing there. So next time we went northeast, but I think going back east is probably the better. Uh, the So we're playing Civilization 3. I assume you got that. We're playing on Monarch difficulty. At the start of the save file, I just waited for 100 turns. Like, I just hit spacebar 100 times, and then we're just playing a normal game of Civ 3. So we're 100 turns behind, but we've caught up by... Yeah, we're, we're probably about roughly caught up to where we should be. Uh, sorry, I should put that in the description of the video. My bad. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I like... I, I kind of hate the higher difficulty. Like, I like them because I love Civ 3 so much and I like being challenged when I play Civ 3, but it's much more fun to play this because it feels like a more level playing field, even though I'm really, like, at a disadvantage. There's not, like, the unending supply of, of bullshit that you get on high difficulties. It's more of a fair difficulty. Uh, yeah, honestly, like, seeing what my unit support situation is here, I, I'm thinking just... There's no real reason to wait against England, yeah. They're only going to get stronger, so... Uh, as a warrior. We don't have any random warriors here, do we? I think we have one on the island, maybe, yeah. Okay. Um... I don't think I, I could do another city like here, I guess. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Uh, otherwise, the AI might take it. It's a real possibility. Forbidden Palace is best placed in London? Uh, if it's the best city on the main... Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, good good idea. I'd agree. Forbidden Palace here. I'm not going to conquer Greece. Uh, it's just biting off so much more than I would need to chew by any chance. I, I didn't you can't take anything because I didn't found my first city like I just left my settlers just waiting there oh nice okay that gets done and so it's a 50 50 chance we make it over that's pretty good uh so yeah our economy's oh we need to be teching. Were we always at 30% happiness? Uh, I do think we need to do 30. You know, I think in this specific case, uh, we'd benefit from a cathedral. It's cheap because we're religious, and then literally every other city is f except our capital is fine at 20%. Hap oh, it's that Suma too. Uh, well, this would be pretty much equivalent. Uh, every other city in our empire is fine at 20% happiness except our capital. So in this specific case, we get a lot more return out of the cathedral than the the two happiness because it gives it applies benefits to our whole civilization because each of these cities becomes more produces more commercial output. Uh, hey Marius, there's a question of what people play. I'm an emperor. Oh yes, yes. I, I've been meaning to do that more often when people say they're new to the stream and or they just say hi. I, I like to ask them where are they from and what difficulty do they play on and what's their favorite civ. Maybe I could spice it up with some more interesting questions, too. Like, do you have a particular play style you like? What's your favorite wonder? Oh my god, there's so many good questions. This is a, an untapped market that I have not gotten into yet, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, like, it's always bu bugged me when I watch streams, and it's like, streamers, they just sound kind of robotic. Like, especially when they get donations. Like, oh, wow, fa thanks for the 50 bits. Uh, enjoy the new emotes, etc. So, I like mixing it up. I don't want to bore myself. I don't mind boring you guys, but boring myself is beyond question. Oh, Lithuania. Cool. Okay, so this is a weird question, but how do Lithuanian people feel about the Poland-Lithuanian Commonwealth? 
Like if that was like a a sieve in in the next sieve game, would you be super hyped for that, or is it like not something you feel connected to as part of your history? Best wonder is the Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam is a good wonder. If you like late game stuff, then Hoover Dam, like, in terms of, like, shield value, it's probably, on a technical level, it's the most value you get out of any wonder in the game. Uh, just practically, you need the factory before the hydro plant does anything, and so it's only going to do things in limited cases. Riders are awesome. Hey, Gamer Nation. Um... I think we're good. That is like 10% concerning. He can't get across. The, like, in, if there was like a secret way that I hadn't discovered. Oh, I should probably scout north here. Okay, this made it over. So, yeah, we'll just do the bottom path here, even if it doesn't lead anywhere. Maybe it leads to Egypt, but is that Egypt? Maybe Mongols or Zulu. Okay, let's chop up a temple. This one can flip because it has so many English tiles in the BFC. So if we can get the expansion, uh, like we'd get... Uh, well, we'd only get this tile, I guess. We actually don't need the temple. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway, though. New to the stream, but not to the channel. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of single-player stuff lately, so... I think this is like the the way to 100 turns, or not necessarily 100, but it's a good way of like in making the game more fresh. Uh, and so I could do a lot more single player series like this. Series? How do you say the plural of series? Favorite wonders, Sun Tzu's out of war. That's a really good choice. That's one of my favorite wonders to capture. I think it also has, like, a quality of life thing. Like, the quality of life thing, it's kind of a boring wonder if it wasn't for the quality of life thing. Like, the thing, like, you just take a city and instantly you're, you have the barracks and your units all heal as fast as possible. Oh, nice. We got contact with yellow. Um, okay, it's Mongols. I was worried that I had, like, how do I know that's Egypt? Uh, but no, it's it's Mongols. <laughs> Series. <laughs> One series, two series. Okay, yeah. Series is, is, is. I think most people wouldn't like playing uh, Poland, Lithuania. Ah, okay, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think it was. it's a really cool and underexplored period of European history, definitely. Uh, but if, if that was the case with the Commonwealth, I, I could see why people wouldn't necessarily be such a fan. Uh, I really like JS Box Bailey, but uh, it's kind of out of. It's hard for me to get. If it was like on the main tech path, you'd see me get it a lot more often when I'm ahead. Uh, we'll see how Mellow Yellow will be. Uh, we'll grab Cathedral London just because uh, we don't want it to flip. So London has the Great Wall, which has somehow not generated any tourism gold yet. Fucking monarch. <laughs> Yeah, we're still holding on to it. We we could just we could have just raised the city. Uh, so we're actually hmm, interesting. Uh, we are taking these declarations of war because we want the wartime happiness. Yeah, like you'll see, like we can even do this here. Uh, can we bring this down? Uh, shuts off our growth in one city. I think that's worth it. I feel the same way about Shakespeare's is a great wonder, but again, it's it's hard to access. Music theory is important. God. Oh, we'd already... Oh, actually, I've had good RNG on the... Uh, the suicides lately. How soon do I press the attack? 
I don't know. You want me to do it now? Once this road is done, I guess. And no point waiting around for Coventry to flip. Yeah, this that was a tough fight. Like people were like doubting like whether I'd be able to continue with the save file. <laughs> uh, I got my ass kicked a lot at the start. Like, like I planted a Zumo on them and then could barely hold it, and then the city flipped. Uh, I retook it, but I lost a bunch of units. I lost an army on a separate occasion. Uh, it was tough for a bunch of reasons, but we pulled through. Why am I saying we? You guys didn't do shit. I pulled through. <laughs> uh, oops, this should supposed to be going up here and going north. Uh, I just yeah yeah that, that was that's why I think that was why I picked up the the air of doubt from the audience. I don't know if you're just teasing me. If you're teasing me, that's legit. I like teasing you guys, so I'd be the most massive hypocrite in the world if I didn't let you tease me. <laughs> and there are a lot of things you can tease me about. <laughs> Because uh, I play pretty sloppy, but <laughs> not not this time. This time, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, <laughs> what have I done? Okay, um, how did they? Oh god. I really, I don't think he has engineering. I really don't hope he doesn't have invention yet. If he has berserks, I'm in so much trouble. Um, in fact, I, I have to delay this invasion and take guys over from the mainland. If he just lands me with like some pikemen, that's fine. Uh, but. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, let's do... God. He's got two galleys too. Mm -hmm. I think he would have just attacked me though. Oh, sorry, one thing I can do is I can just slap him with my galleys. That's probably one of the better options I have here. Yeah, we'll put this guy here just so they, they can't access me at all. Uh, get some backup. Okay. Oh, nice. There's a, a bonus grassland there. Okay. The good news is I got a free declaration. Whenever I want it, I have a free declaration of war on the, the English because they're in my land. Uh, let's take this north. So I got... Yeah, this should be okay. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Huh. You know what? If they want to land me here, I'm completely okay with that. That would be preferable to whatever the hell else they were going to do. Um, as long as they don't, like, take London or something. Because here I can just clean it up with the armies. Uh, I think this one would get raised, so that's kind of annoying, but at least I'd be able to kill their units. Uh, oh, I have to worry about war weariness, I guess. Ew, yeah. Did I give proper time for the war weariness score to tick down after, uh, fighting England? Uh, that's a question I don't know the answer to. Well, we can hold up hope, Das Toast. It's still a possibility. Yeah, they're just, they're just hilariously overtuned in the Middle Ages conquest. Did I tell you, like, I tried to do... Oh, that's, they've got two units in those galleys. Oh, my God. Uh, I did try to get, do a game where I, like, I think I played this Castile and I had to move to Finland. Uh, true, I don't mind so much. Like, if I lose, like, a building, who cares? It's not that important. 
Okay, I'll, I'll make peace with the Vikings when I can. Oh, that is a separate boat. I'm pretty sure these do not have, what's it called, in the berserks, but uh, I'd really prefer not to fuck around and find out. So we're going to take things cautiously. Am I using any of these guys that I don't need to be? Would it be just easier to counterattack the Berserks? Yes. Yeah, absolutely, Bailey. But the issue is, like, counterattack the boats or what? Because the Berserks are amphibious. I, I can't attack the unit themselves. Uh, or do you mean to, like, bait them into taking cities and attack? If I, if I lose cities, then it, it just costs me so much in terms of war wariness that it, it really sucks. Uh, if it comes down to it, I'd consider. Like, a city like mm, Matsu, whatever the hell it is, uh, Matsuyama. Okay, I'm putting the horseman here so he can't fork the city. Oh, he actually can still fork the city, is what am I saying? Uh, oh, he'll make peace, okay. Not my problem anymore. Oh, he does have invention. Okay. This is 100%. Not a war I want to continue to fight. Tokyo. What the fuck? Uh, that is not a city I'm eager to give up at all. So we can give him 61 gold. Yeah, oh, he'll just take some gold per turn and fuck off. Okay, that's just what we want. Okay, done. It wasn't that easy. So yeah, we'll give it a few turns for the war awareness to tick down, but... Oh, this won't be much of an issue. Uh, apparently, I don't know if this is true or myth, but in real life, Berserks would drink some tea. Hmm. Yeah, there definitely have been... Uh, I think a lot of those things get oversold, like the ancient people use drugs. Uh, often they like did things that had some sort of effect, but the effect might have been kind of mild. I mean, a comparable thing would be, like, smudging. Like, some Native American people do that, where they, like, light up certain herbs. Like, the, the herbs are, like, they might have mild medicinal properties. Uh, and people find it to be, like, relaxing and spiritual. But it's not like they're getting high or anything like that. Uh, so if people do that, then you can imagine that... Like, I remember people say that the ancient Scythians used to, like, take a bunch of... Like, they just, like, go get up as much cannabis as they could. And they just, like, sit in a big tent and just burn a big pile of cannabis. <laughs> uh, and the, the effects of that were probably not as strong as just smoking weed, you know? Uh, but again, I, I'm not an expert on the subject. No, I'm not, knowledge, not even knowledgeable. Calling myself not an expert is uh, too, too much credit to myself. Okay, this is just him going home. That's fine. I uh, lose the wartime happiness, that's fine. Yeah, because the wartime happiness turns into wartime unhappiness if you're not careful. And with a, a war against the English, I'm going to be too busy to be as careful as I'd like to be. So, okay, Let's take these archers with me. And the catapults too, I guess. Has he rebuilt these roads? I wonder. Uh, is there seriously... Oh, I can plant forests now. That's interesting. 
Does anyone have any... Oh, fuck, I got engineering. I didn't trade it around. Uh, oh, fucking sick. Okay, here we go. I can get something, you know? France is nothing. Scandinavia... Is France just pretty much dead? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I can get some gold off England, but there's no hurry on that. Persia... Oh, it doesn't have... Oh, Okay, so what I do, yeah, I go to Greece. I get Shiv from Greece. Uh, and then I go to... Oh, this is actually quite good, uh, because then I, I can build libraries now, which I do need. Yeah, I get lit from Xerxes, and then I get the gold from... She doesn't... That does not benefit her at all. Uh... Huh, I guess a uh, Crusader thing already got built. Trondheim kind of sucks. Okay. Mm what are we going for? I think it just makes sense to just plow through here. Yeah, let's go for music theory. Oh, that kind of that wonder kind of sucks here. Oh, we want to do this. What am I saying? This is a good wonder. I mean, it's not game breaking here, but it's fine. Ooh, let's see if we can go west here. <laughs> so modest, right, Lucian? Lovely city is York. Ah, uh, could use some tile improvements for sure. It's a good city, though. Uh, maybe some, uh, two bonus grasslands. No hills, no mountains. Yeah, kind of middle of the road. Okay, let's... Uh, I don't know if it's even worth trying to build the Great Library, but we're gonna... What the, why is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, he has planted here. It's just the marsh kind of. Wait, is this? Huh. Do they have contact? Anyway, not my problem. Mm -hmm. She actually got out of my land. Okay, well. Uh, still going to declare war on you. Ah, uh, should I give it one more turn to let the war awareness tick down? Uh, I don't want to run into war awareness. Yeah, let's, let's wait. So this is clearly going to end up in the same basic space. Uh, so I could go north here, I guess. Uh, this is Vikings, okay. Yeah, I guess they just got a series of stuff from the... Uh, from the what have you. Okay, so they have not finished their worker moves here. I gotcha. Uh, yeah, we're just going to double here. Let's take... They don't have any horses. I guess if they were, like, saving the horses from the previous invasion, they could have a horse. They're not going to attack into the army, though. All right. Uh, yeah, so that's going there. We're doing theology. It's a shame we can't trade for it, but it's good enough. Uh, these cities are surprisingly... Oh, okay, we do have some war awareness issues. Fuck, okay, yeah, because it's not a, a war, it's a war that I started. Yeah, fuck, I really need to let that tick down. I didn't realize how bad it was, what the fuck? Okay, this war needs to be over yesterday.
Uh, I could do Sistine Chapel if that doesn't work out. And if it doesn't work out soon, then we can just do Great Library. Or sorry, we can just do regular library without wasting too many shields. Oh, uh, were you guys interested in doing a new player? Like, let me know if you guys are interested in new doing a new player game after today, or after the, the stream today. Oh, this is going to be easy. Okay. Uh, Bailey, I meant to get you involved in a, a new player. I think the, the timing didn't quite work out last time, though. Nice. Okay. At this, yeah, we're just capturing cities. Um, this is this is a shame because we could have used this time to. Uh, sorry, we could have used this time to catch up in tech to the Vikings and people, but. Uh, I guess we're going to have to be running 40% of the, the happiness slider for the next little while. And it's not too bad. I definitely ran a lot worse than that, but not ideal, of course. You're up to Monarch now. Oh, congratulations. You still need to improve your skills. I mean, we say that if you play on Regent, then generally you can play multiplayer. I mean, the key... Th just fundamentally, like, multiplayer is just, like, in a lot of ways, it's a learning... It's No matter how good you are at single player, it's going to be a learning experience. Uh, but the second factor is that... Uh, I mean, multiplayer games are played on Regent, so if you're not used to the... the third city citizen being unhappy, for example, then you're going to have a bad time. Uh, but you don't have to, like, like an Emperor, it's only one citizen's happy, but that's not the case in multiplayer. Uh, the third factor is that just to play multiplayer, you just generally need to be familiar with the game mechanics. Things like um, the despotism penalty and what unit support is. Things like just basic stuff like that. And by the time you get to Regent, normally you, you should be familiar with those things. Uh, H, okay, nice. Yeah, um, are you free in like two hours from now, maybe? We've recently integrated, so every now and then we go through like a crop of new players basically, and they either stop playing and don't come back, or they become too good and they're, they're too good for the new player games, or at least they don't need the new player games, right? Uh, they're happy just to play against other veterans. Uh, so that makes things tough, because uh, we, our crop of new players, they just, like we have a bunch and then they either don't come back or they're too good. Uh, so we need to continuously be recruiting new new players just to keep things even, you know? Uh, and recently we've been short on new players, but it'd be nice to build, bring some new guys in. Uh, Nate, you said you have no problem to beat Mon beating Monarch. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, but you don't know why you can't play Emperor. Huh. Oh, feel free to send me some save files if you want. Uh, Emperor can be a bit tough because, like, the, the changes in happiness really uh, affects the expansion phase. Oh, nice. There's a, a light blue sieve here. Who's that? Spain. Wow, they're very far behind. Let's uh, plant some seeds. Maybe they'll catch up eventually. We'll give them literature. So it just gives something to them something to build other than military units so they stop spamming units that they can't afford the unit support costs on. How long do they take? Uh, the games are, we'd like to say, a three-hour time commitment. The new player games are probably a bit less, so probably two and a half. Uh, but games don't normally go that late at all. Uh, so the average game will last probably about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes, I'd say. Uh, that's just like the maximum time that it, it can last. Uh, it's already 2.30 a.m. Okay. Um, we d Oh, wait. Hold up. Uh, we do do games Wednesday evenings for us. It's like 9 p.m. Wednesday evening for me. Uh, so if it's 2.30 a.m. there, that would be... 
the middle of the workday for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, we'll find something that works. If <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not good. This could very well flip. What the fuck? Okay, that was risky. No, I just guess we don't get the seller now. Okay. Uh, temple it is. We probably should turn on our tech. Yeah. Uh, let's get rid of some units, maybe. A regular Spearman? I'm not having that. Spearman should be veteran at least. Oh fuck, I just hit the end turn button by mistake. I hope I didn't just get my army killed or anything. Oh, Athens, congratulations, Greece. Uh, so we'll grab the temple here. Or the library. Eh, we didn't lose too much. Oh, we were supposed to build the, move the catapults, I guess. You'd be interested, but it's hard to join games during the day since you're busy being a dad. Yeah, of course. I understand. Uh, we do do some more casual games, so definitely join the Discord if you're you're interested, but like not sure how you'd like to get involved. I think somebody came by saying they'd be very interested in playing like the World War II in the Pacific scenario, uh, which we don't like. The latter doesn't do games like that because uh, maps on like non-random maps are just really really predictable. Uh, so they the, we you play them once and you know everything there is, right? You might even know how the game will play out before you play it, if you've seen the map. Uh, but there's definitely room for more casual play. Uh, and so we'd be happy to bring people in to, to do that. Uh, is my operating system Windows 10? Yeah, um, people ask occasionally. I use the classic shell here, so that's why I don't have like the, the Metro pop-up, which I absolutely detest. Do you have any like weird... Uh, experimental Civ modifications or something like that, Lucian, <laughs> require Windows 10. Uh, okay, I'm glad you enjoyed QC, Tony. Yeah, it'd be nice to start playing QC again. It's We've been going through a phase where it's like we're playing three different scenarios. We're playing Modern, Future, and, uh, and MPT mostly. But people stopped playing QC, which at one time was the most popular scenario. So it'd be nice to bring it back. Although, personally, I'm, I'm kind of sick of it. All right. I'm not sick of it, it just is too much of a time commitment. It's like, it's still like a three hour time commitment, but the games can more consistently last like two and a quarter hours or two and a half hours. I don't mind playing games that are that long, it's just exhausting having every single game going that long. If you want to reduce the resistance, is it helping to turn the population into an entertainer? Um, I don't think it makes a difference. If it's not affecting the number of ha ha happiness, as far as I know, does not put down resistance. So, oh, well, he's got one spearman in here. Okay. Oh no, just there's the damaged spearman because of my catapults. Okay. And there's some RNG of some variant. Uh, no good, bad, selling of the sort. Let's uh, clean this up. Hmm. He has come to accept our rule. Okay, let's. I, I just. I don't care enough to not smash into these galleys. Uh, with the defeat and detail factor, I think it might be not a bad play. Uh, so here's Persia again. Okay, yeah. 
have we met most of the civs on the map? Uh, someone died. I think there's only one more civ, maybe. It can parse the latest autosave file. Police will stop. Hmm. Uh, cool. So um, right now I have the turn watcher working to the extent where it can send a notification. Uh, like someone attacked you or something like that? Uh, what kind of information would it send? Yeah, I guess I can do that now. Uh, we clearly do not need this food. So let's uh, make London grow a bit. London has quite a few bonus grasslands too, which I like. Just the three, I guess. It's using all three. I got bait, <laughs> not baited. Bamboozled, tricked. That was a very real possibility. Let's see if they slaved anything yet. What the fuck? Holy shit, I just... That wasn't even really my fault. I just lost my army just straight up. Okay, uh, let's go back around here. Okay, I guess I definitely do need to keep building horsemen. I was debating it. The answer to that debate is yes. Because in a cruel tw twist of fate, I have lost my dude, my 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 happy happy army. Uh, so uh, you could list which city will be in disorder. Oh, ah, oh, ah, hmm. Okay, that would be very useful for streams. Yeah. Um, not for multiplayer would be probably be cheating. Uh, where you play milit. So in this situation where you play military, why don't you take monarchy as a government? Because monarchy is a shitty government. It's a really, really shitty government. Uh, Republic is a significantly better government because it gets the commerce bonus. The commerce bonus is just so ridiculously good. Uh, Republic is, if you play it right, is the best military government, at least until communism. Growth will hasten from Ben Palace? Yeah, absolutely. And the city isn't actually that corrupt. Ah, fuck, he, he, fuck him. Oh, uh, I got three. Yeah, I gotta try for this. Was that one dude? That was just straight one hero spearman. God. Okay, that would have been so much easier just to raise that. I think I'm reaching a point where it might have been smart just to raise that. But we're not gonna. Okay, uh, we clearly need a bunch of horses around to retake cities if they flip. Oh, I got two right here. Okay, this is not so bad. Will I switch to communism? Probably, it depends what I'm doing. I honestly don't like communism that much. I accept that it's a good government, um, but I prefer playing Republic. Because communism is good for domination, and domination is exhausting. I think people like the idea of military conquest a lot more than they act actually like conquering things or watching me conquer things. England landed Shimonuski. No. Uh, if they could, if they did, I'd have big problems because they somehow got magnetism or something like that. Hey, Aaron. Uh, I really should stop this in Nottingham because yeah, that's inevitable. I lost this guy too. That's okay. I met every civil civ except one, 
And the final sieve is probably not around that area. They're probably here somewhere. Okay, I'll use the horseman first since I don't want to lose the army again. Did I just do no damage? Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, no, okay, I just lost my army. Okay. Uh, once I clean up England, I, I don't need the army, but yeah, fucking hell. That's really a pain. Uh, I didn't even get the city. Good news is these cities have garbage production, so it's, if once if I kill stuff, it's not he's not really gonna bring it back very easily. Stop it! Just fuck off! Oh my god. Okay. Hello. Bye. He's got no horses. That was left over. Okay. I want this horse to go in whatever invasion I'm doing, so I, I transfer galleys. And I, I do this. And he doesn't have the offensive units to attack into this. How many luxuries do the English have? They have one. They have furs. Uh, but it's across the the gap, right? So I don't have it just yet. Because the, the sea tile's blocking. Is economy not really worth the turns in anarchy? Yeah, I'd say so. Unless you have ridiculous, if you have a, like eight luxuries, then probably not seven or eight. Um, communism gives you better production uh, with big empires than uh, republic. Okay. Plan continues. Four units. Permanent disorder in Shimonuski, yeah. Yeah, three armies down this game. Not that it matters. They just can't, it's monarch, right? They just can't recover from this. They don't have the production. Kyoto alone outproduces both of these cities. Uh, my cities will flip, and that's an annoyance, but an annoyance is all it is. Did I just get another tick of unhappy? What the fuck happened there? Why did it suddenly have problems? Yeah. Okay, how many spears are in here? I think if there's... Yeah, if there's... Three spears, I can't take that down because it still says seven. Ah, that veteran art is veteran against. Regular. That's pretty. No, I, I gotta try this actually. I'll try with the the horse because he can retreat. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Like like I said, you can't replace these. I can just run away. I should probably be building military units. I don't know why I'm building buildings when finishing the war will help my economy a lot more than any anything I get from these buildings. Let's not heal here. It's only one spear. Oh, you think I could have tried one more time? Uh, did we know for a fact that was only one? I think it was, yeah. I 
Okay, here we go. Uh, this can grow. Uh, we do need aqueducts. It's good for our economy. We'll join the archer for this fight. Okay, so England. Scandinavia, France. Has invention magic education. God, all these civs are so behind or they're so ahead? Which is uh, kind of an infuriating dichotomy. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's perfect, man. I couldn't have asked for anything better than that. Free uh, invention. I can build longbows now. Okay. Thanks, Joshua. I'm glad that you believe in me. It really makes a difference in terms of my power level. <laughs> Okay, if it's only one speed, um, you can also show when civs switch governments. That's also important. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, like you said, just shit that should should be in the game, but isn't for some reason. Uh, we playing. We could do printing press as a trading tech. Let's check out the Vikings. Do they have gunpowder? They do. They don't have printing press though, so let's go for printing press. That's not an awful thing to have. Huh, he just got the next tier of border expand, I think. You know, I just fuck just fuck me up, you know. Really do not care. Uh, yes, they will. They will DRC. Um, because I'll have a, if hopefully I'll have a monopoly on it. Uh, tech monopolies are important. So it's a potential trading tech and education is absolutely not a potential trading tech. And this isn't like, this isn't like a Pangea map. On a Pangea map, if like one sieve gets printing press, then they'll trade it to everybody. It, here, if like the Vikings do printing press next, then... I'll still have printing press over Greece, over uh, over Persia, over all the other civs. What's the one civ you hate to see during gameplay? Uh, Carthage and Greece, honestly. Like, if I'm trying to conquer my neighbor and it turns out to be Greece, I just roll my fucking eyes. It's still doable. It's just such a huge step up in terms of difficulty. Wow, he actually did not go for taking back his... What the fuck? Uh, did not go for taking back his unit. Okay, everybody together here. Oh, there's literally just one guy. Fuck it. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> Woof. Okay, uh, we have to do some complicated shit that's not really that complicated. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I did zero points of damage there. Uh, I don't mind. The Zulu are pretty aggressive, but, like, uh, in terms of what they do in the... Uh, there's nothing about the Civ itself that makes them hard to play against. Sure. People, as usual, talking about coding in my... <laughs> uh, I think we can just rush them with all these horses and it'll, it'll do. 
I'll walk the catapults and the archers there anyway, just in case, but uh, on a mental level, I'm just done. <laughs> Oh, sweet, already, okay. Yeah, that's a lot of horses. That is many horses. Okay, just fucking automate me. Sure. Okay, that's enough on the longbow. Oh, we should do wonders. I like wonders, yeah. Uh, I don't know what we'll, if we'll get anything, but... Okay, let's just... Yeah, he still has no barracks. Pathetic. There we go. Destroyed the English. Nice. Okay, we're done. Uh, and we're under the unit cap. I, I don't know how that happened, but we are significantly under the unit cap. Okay. So, let's turn down the happiness ladder. I like this part. This is where the fun begins. Okay. Uh, it doesn't actually end the resistance, so we do need to station units in these cities. Sure. London didn't flip in that period magically, so um, I didn't lose my pre or the, the build on the Fruin Palace. Don't forget to put units in resistor cities. Yeah, I was just taking care of that. How long have I been sieving, playing Civ 3? Since release, basically. On uh, what's my favorite? Yeah, I was very young, so I didn't understand it on the same level, but it's always been one of my favorite games. And my favorite conquest, without a doubt, is Age of Discovery, with close second, maybe. Or. Age of Discovery just introduced so many cool concepts to, to Civ 3, and it makes modding so much easier because those things exist in the modding tools. Uh, but in terms of actual gameplay, I think World War II of the Pacific is a very strong scenario. Tech up. Uh, true. What's this? I'm at 50%? It's fine. Like, don't stress out too much if you're playing Republic and you're only at 50% science. That, that's okay. It happens. I'm not over the... Yeah, I guess we need a temple here. Uh, I do think I might actually... Okay, yeah. Um, these English cities are actually coming online. So that's good. I, li I like that. Oh, I can build a so I can build a samurai here, and if I ferry them over carefully, I can give myself a golden age. Yeah, and these are high pop cities too. So, getting them online is a, a pretty high, uh, pretty good accomplishment. Okay, time to hit intern a bunch. Hey, Neil Smith. Nice, this one can grow. Got a lot to look forward to here. The Vikings are still poking their heads around. Huh, I wonder what the deal with that is. Do they have Astro? It doesn't really matter. They might have navigation, I guess, but I'm not seeing them have navigation directly. Nice. Uh, does an efficient way to win with the United Nations exist? There is no inefficient way to win. Sorry, there, there is. 
It's a very consistent wonder. You just make a military alliance against everybody. So you figure out who you're running against, and then the turn before the election, you make a military alliance with everybody against them, and then you win the game. Um, you do need like a baseline level of approval. Like They have to be polite or gracious with you to vote for you. Uh, but making 20 turn deals with the AI will makes it very likely that it like it really boosts your their opinion of you. Uh, yeah, the the only really big thing to avoid, I guess, would be don't raise cities. Don't raise like a ton of cities. Uh, specifically, if cities you want to vote for you, but there's also a global effect if you're raising like 20 cities off of a a sieve like this. Uh, so just be careful like that, and just as long as you do a military alliance, you should be able to win the game. Uh, now, the hard thing is like uh, being a candidate, right? So if you're behind and you want to win that way, then you need to either uh, build the UN, but if you're behind in tech, that's not possible, obviously, and then you capture the UN otherwise. Uh, so that might be doable. You, you capture it the turn before the elections are held, and you can win the, win the game that way. So whenever you overtake a city, do you immediately queue up a courthouses? Depends. Like, some cities are just such garbage that... There's no, like, if, if I took this city or even this city, right, it has so much distance corruption and rank corruption that it's, even with a courthouse, it's going to be pretty bad. So I, I might prefer to do workers or, or boats or whatever. But, like, something like this, like, these are corrupt cities that benefit a lot from the, the courthouse, but can still build the courthouse reasonably fast. Like, I'm still getting five per turn or six shields per turn. I'm not getting one per turn. Okay, I'm going to unscrew my bot water bottle and, and drink that way, because you guys do not like water sounds, <laughs> apparently. <sighs> Refreshing. Okay, yeah, I, I would encourage you to go to sleep, H, if it's that late, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, where should I go from here if you want to try to get into multiplayer? Go to the Discord, say hi there, and we'll get you set up. There's not really, you fundamentally you just need, if you have Civ 3 on Steam, then you can play multiplayer. Uh, but there's a few small things that would, might help you. Like there's some guides, uh, there's a few like optional add-ons that really will help you out. And just talking to people and asking any questions you might have. Yeah, this is over irrigated a bit. I I, I guess these cities aren't too corrupt, so I should probably, probably care about the worker moves. Yeah, we'll mix in, we'll irrigate the non for non BG tiles. Yeah, we'll just queue up this. Hey, uh, Luke Sai. Spasibo za stream. Oh, hi to the stream. Hey, nice. I feel like I, I hope that was what he said. <laughs> Maybe he said something else. Maybe he said death to the stream. But I I'm going to pretend it's something nice. Yeah, you guys can write in whatever language you want. We've had people like come in here and like play chess games, like K uh, Knight to E4 and stuff like that, uh, which is completely incomprehensible if you're not actually like following along with the game. But if you get a kick out of using the stream chat that way, go ahead. Uh, okay, nice. We should be able to get Tokyo to size. We're not having many unit support issues because we took all the cities in this island and then we don't have to conquer anyone anymore. As long as we don't... We'll, oh, let's defend our capital. That's been an issue in our past games. I, I won't I won't lie about that. Uh, we have a lot of maintenance. Could sell the temple... We have like a lot of shitty buildings here. Walls are free from the Great Wall. Ah, maybe thanks for the stream. Oh, maybe that's what it is. I think we're getting like one gold per turn out of these markets, so it's it's justifiable keeping them. Wow, he just really went, they really went to town building markets absolutely everywhere, huh? OK, 
Okay, yeah, this... I guess it does need a temple. Until I get the happiness problem solved, it's not worth selling. Uh, Sistine Chapel. Okay. We'll keep this going as a pre-built. I don't mind if we lose shields on this. It's it's completely tolerable. Um, irrigating, yeah. Well, especially because of the despotism penalty. The irrigation does nothing in despotism. It's actually one of the major advantages that humans have over the AI. That they don't fuck up their worker mo so, Yeah, either the AI has no fresh water, which sucks. Or they do have fresh water and they just irrigate too much. Kind of a no-win situation for them. Uh, we can probably mix in. Commerce is more of a focus. Yeah, we can get it to size 7. Okay, printing press next turn. I don't know if anyone's has that yet, but hopefully no. Uh, let's grab some. Yeah, we'll, we'll ca let's get like 10 longbows just in case the Vikings pull something stupid like the Dutch continued to do last game. Uh, as, yeah, as a backup. I don't know. Maybe we can go island hopping too if we need to. Is there a wasted bonus grassland here? <gasps> Incorrigible. Uh, yeah, ideally this should probably be planted over here, but uh, I don't care. I'm not one of those people. Don't worry. Not two sieves, actually. So education, gunpowder... So the good thing is I actually can trade comms. Ah, uh, Arabs have comms with nobody. Okay, so I, I guess I get a G Oh, huh. Wait, I, I just need education, right? So I get education. And then hopefully... Uh, I can get something off Scandinavia. Oh, I'll, I'll at least get the comms off Scandinavia. Maybe I should do the comms first. Uh, it depends how far ahead Greece is, I guess. Whatever. Uh, we'll take education. Wait, Persia had guns, right, but not education? Yeah, okay. So we do this. Okay. Uh, and he has Astro. Okay. That's not surprising. Huh. Did Greece have Astro? They do. Damn. Uh, I have more comms to trade to Greece, too. What was I trading to England? Fuck, as if he even communicated with England. Fuck him. Okay, uh, I guess my... Reputation's down the toilet. Thank you, Majed. I appreciate that. Happy Aid, by the way. That was a couple days ago? Is that a day or is that a week? I need to learn more. Okay, Iroquois. Wow, you got fuck all. He's got gold though, which if it, that's like an extra twenty one gold off the trade, I'm happy. And Samaria. Thirty gold, fantastic. What a day. Whew. Okay, uh, now we call Persia.
Uh, the interesting takeaway is, uh, I don't think the Scandinavians have banking yet. Yeah, they don't have banking and they don't have chem. So let's go for chem. Chem is a sure thing. Uh, would have been really, uh, really nice to get Astro. Guess we're doing university here. Sure. Because he's a Vikings, I can't fuck with him. Uh, as I always say, do not be afraid of just saying, like, if the AI is stronger than you, just say yes when they ask for stuff. There's not much that they'll ask for that will really fuck you. Uh, the literature is the only thing that really tilts me. Aside from that, pretty much any, they, they're not, they don't ask for cities, you know? Oh, nice. Wow. Okay. How are you enjoying the uh, the break then? Yeah, China actually recently had a, they had like a five day Labor Day holiday at the start of May. But the kids had to like go to school on Sundays, like in the, the weeks beforehand to like make up for it. Still, you take what you can get. Uh, that was rough. Would you gift the AI fission? Uh, oh yeah, for uh, was it for United Nations, right? Yeah, so that and maybe theory of gravity. <laughs> Uh, but not a lot, not a whole lot else. I mean, like, sometimes you, you can just take the war, right? If you can handle the war, then accept the war. But I, I can't, specifically with the Vikings, I, I, it'd be costly. It'd be annoying, too. Very annoying. Okay, I need to stop whatever the fuck is this. Yeah, <laughs> much better. So notice to fix these happiness problems, I'm not uh, adjusting the slide or anything. I'm just switching to the high commerce tiles. So I'm getting more mileage out of the 20% I have on the commerce slider. Uh, no restaurants. Maybe you can order some food, though. That'd be nice. Ah, OK. That, that changes my mind. That's the worst. Okay, it must, I, I didn't think about this before, but it actually must be really good for food delivery drivers being in a Muslim country during uh, Ramadan because you you can just do nothing all day, right? And then when it's midnight, you get like mad fucking orders, right? You make bank off it. So you can work like a two hour day and probably sell almost as much food. Well, probably a four hour day, realistically. Um... Although you probably want time to eat after a day of uh, fasting, so <laughs> maybe it's more complicated than that. Five. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, let's check Greece. Uh, still have Astro. Um, but yeah, they haven't acquired anything new. Why are they just dicking around? Like, are they like settling random islands and stuff or where are they going? Uh, they can't trade world maps with us, so they don't have navigation. Okay, why don't you guys tell me, what are your favorite food delivery options on specific holidays? <laughs> I guess it's probably bad, bad etiquette if it's like a holiday that the, the drivers want to enjoy to be clogging up things, but. Uh, 
I like sushi on any holiday that involves alcohol. Nice, problem solved. Uh, okay, uh, I'll do aqueduct. And my car, oh god. <laughs> uh, maybe in-laws can visit or something, who knows. Time to play Civ 3, I guess. Papa is like the chicken. Oh God. Okay, this is I I, I I just love all types of fried chicken, but this is a bit of a hot take. But I actually prefer KFC to Popeyes. Their fries are just so greasy and salty. They're they're very good and crispy too. Ah, uh, and I, I like the I like spicy chicken, but I prefer like the super ridiculously salty KFC uh, style chicken. Uh, yeah, I mean, tempo, like, this, like, just shows you, like, how much of a big deal tempo is. I guess this is, like, a significant impact to tempo, but, tempo, but, like, when, oh god, I remember there's, there's a guy who, like, one of the first people who had, like, a high-definition game of Civ 3 on, on YouTube, he played this game as England, um, he played on Chieftain, right, and at the start of the game, he just walks his settler around in a circle for six turns, goes back to where he originally spawns, and then he puts the city down. He's like, oh, I just wanted to take a look to see what else is... God. It, it's so, like... It, it, it turns... Yeah. It, it has a big impact. Uh, the effect on tempo. Talking about Necroscope, yeah, like, that, that, you know, you guys know the game I'm talking about. It's an interesting game. Uh, but there's definitely a lot of what not to do moments in that video. But respect, like, I'm sure if I played another game in the Civ franchise, I remember you guys were all rolling your eyes at me when I played Civ Five. So. <laughs> when I was a little kid, so, <laughs> like, two years ago, do you see? I, I do like the map he was playing on. Uh, Popeyes is better here. Huh. Oh, do you not have Popeyes in, in Saudi? Or uh, do you have it, but it just really sucks or something? <laughs> Or do you not? Yeah. Uh, we don't have... Oh, yeah. Popeyes has recently expanded into Canada. I, my first time trying it was actually at the airport in, in Detroit, I believe. Uh, but now they've they got a few branches in most cities. Courthouses to remove disorders. <laughs> I mean, put those, uh, put those rebels in jail, right, guys? That is something that is built into the game mechanics, huh? If only. I've actually been to the Popeyes in, in Saskatoon. Uh, oh, you know what Winnipeg has? Winnipeg has um, Jollibee. Jollibee is fantastic. It's this, uh, it's a Filipino fried chicken chain. And they do like super spicy, like their spicy fried chicken is spicier than anything at Popeyes. It's kind of not enjoyable how spicy, but like I'd prefer just the salty, but if I want something really spicy, it's like it fills a niche that nothing else really feels, fills, so. Uh, have you ever seen a really old Civ series? Pangea 8 Players of the Indian? Huh. Was that like one of the ones with no commentary maybe? Uh, I don't think I know the one you're talking about. Uh, but let me know if there's any hilarious moments from it. Ah, uh, 
So you mean the, the what's it called? The uh, propaganda. I, I mean, I've been meaning to do that, but I haven't found an opportunity. This island's kind of, kind of dank how many land tiles this, this island has. God, I can't wait till I get fucking navigation that can actually trade for locks. Oh, fuck. I just... What the fuck am I doing? I just autopiloted. God, you guys distracting me with this talk of fried chicken. Okay, so we can do banking. Nobody else has... Cam or at least he doesn't have cam. I better trade to Greece first, because otherwise Greece gets it for free from the Great Library. Um, oh, he'll give us everything. Okay, I guess that day is today. Like, the day I was talking about is, is today. Okay. Huh, neat. Oh, Paris, or France is doing borderline okay. They lost Avignon, but they didn't, like, lose. I think that might have been a culture flip, actually. Yeah, it's, oh, they lost Besancon, too. Weird how the, I guess, they, like, the islands are doing work for the Vikings. I mean, they're doing work for me. Ah, uh, no wonder if Spain is in such a rough place. Samaria, oh my god. All that gold. If they planted dense, that'd actually be a playable and interesting start location. Ah, okay, yeah, I, I know there's a lot of uh, foreign laborers in, like, from Southeast Asia in specifically, like, a lot of nurses and, and manual laborers from the Philippines. But I, I didn't realize that carried through in terms of, like, big chains. Gives you a hamburger. I do like the biscuits from Popeye's. But, I mean, it's, it's all about the chicken, right? The chicken and the, the french fries, I guess, too. Okay, uh, so we go to Scandinavia now. Okay, uh, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Yeah, I'll take wines. He hates me. Really, that's you give me. Eh. Okay, uh, yeah, he's clearly almost done it, so here we are. Okay, uh, we can go for free artistry, or we're gonna, we're, gonna go, we're gonna go for this first and then maybe trade for that. But yeah, okay, we've officially caught it. For all intents and purposes, we have caught up in tech because navigation is pretty useless. We'll check on Persia. Yeah, we're way ahead. How is their economy? Like, are they in monarchy or something? Why is their economy such shit? This should be good, right? Uh, I guess I can't train Lux for to random sieves, like... Jesus fucking Christ, Arabia. Uh, not you, Majed. Um, this guy right here. Okay, that's not actually that good. It looked impressive with all the cows and stuff. It's still pretty... Yeah, oh, Jesus, what the f... Oh my god. The triple whale city. The triple whale, triple cow city. And he missed all of the whales. Oh my god. There's Tim Hortons, really. Oh, okay, that one's unexpected. 142 episodes. You should link that to one to me. It sounds interesting. Uh, Vikings up here, yeah. Vikings have a lot of little islands. I got this one to myself. I'm happy with that. Uh, Mongols are actually pretty big. So they could potentially have a decent economy here. Yeah, I mean, so could France, so could Arabs, so could Spain. I guess the lower difficulty levels, it's just like, what counts as a good economy for them? Like, they can't just can't do it off of fewer cities. Uh, they need to be bigger to be decent. Uh, so what is, yeah, land area, Scandinavia is pretty high, but not actually that high in population. Yeah, those city placements. If, uh, we could just abandon Nagasaki at some point. Uh, 
Sorry, this is a bit of a nuclear option, but uh, I think there's no reason not to go for this, yeah. Oh, fuck, I should have sold the buildings first. I'm an idiot. Okay, um, now we turn this off. And we assign all the specialists. We have, we have markets in a lot of these cities, which is what's making this kind of insane. Uh, yeah, I don't care about these islands. Eh, fuck. Uh, I don't see it in chat here, Lucian, sorry. Uh, but you can send it on Discord. If you could send it on Discord, Discord that'd be great. 142 episodes. Jesus, that sounds incredible. Twenty-one, twenty. Wow, this city just like it just cannot stop being this level of happiness, huh? Do I have no workers here? <laughs> I think I don't. What happened to them? I don't remember disbanding them or joining them, but I, I guess I must have. Okay. I'm fine. Yes, dear C, I'm I'm very good at this game, and the AI on Monarch is this is a Monarch AI, right? They just don't they fundamentally don't manage their economy very well. And in terms of number of cities, I'm pretty much on par with them. At least they're smart enough to mostly irrigate the plains, although not entirely. Not even a canal city here. Come on, get your shit together, AI. What the hell is that? Uh, there's no irrigation here, is there? Uh, I guess the cows are irrigated. If Satsuma's a market, then we can probably do this, yeah. Greece isn't like invading me, is he? It would be, I'll say it right now, it would be useful to have my army around for defensive purposes. Oh god, yeah, they did. Nice catch, Jersey. I didn't see that, but they absolutely wasted those cows. Yeah, this is not as good as it looks as a result. Have I made a samurai? Uh, I only have island on uh, iron on this little island here until I get navigation, so I haven't yet, no. Yeah, just a couple of samurais on this island would make it super easy. But we're not so lucky. Uh, oh, the Iroquois are actually okay. Interesting. They're kind of like straddled along the 1-9 line. Uh, yeah, they have unit support. Rhizor. That's a Viking city, yeah. They just have no irrigation here. If they had that, they'd be in much better shape, I think. Okay, there it is. Ah, annoying. Get the fuck out. Hmm. <laughs> 
That's funny. Okay. Uh, oh, here's all my horsemen. Fuck. Yeah, I need uh, samurais in these cities yesterday. I get navigation in two, basically. Zero growth. Yeah, I'll do market first. No, it it's, it doesn't work that way, gamer. So you can't just build more. I have a harbor here. I have got a harbor a million places here. So this is over ocean tiles, and I can't trade over ocean tiles until I get one of these two techs. I need navigation, or I need magnetism. So the reason I'm importing wines is oh, I'm only what the okay I lost my lux okay that was a good catch. Uh I do have my. Interesting. Okay, yeah, like these furs are actually going. Wait, what the fuck? How do I have furs, but I don't have iron? Oh, of course, I, I've got, I've got, yeah, I can trade over sea tiles, I just can't trade over open ocean, because I have astronomy. Okay. Let's get all my galleys here, so that when the time comes, I can just dump over some... Did that just bombard that tile? Amazing. Okay, physics next turn. He, he violated my trade deal too. How unkind of him. Yeah, uh, don't worry, guys. Uh, next turn, we'll trade for navigation, and then this will all be a bad dream. A Civ 3 themed fever dream, but a bad dream nonetheless. Okay, uh, so we can't trade with Greece, sadly. Yeah, he'll give us a lot for this. I think I think we just out tech him at this point. Um, Persia. Yeah, if I I really need the iron right. Uh, hmm, interesting. Uh, I really need the iron right now, so. Uh, I am going to do this deal that I wouldn't normally other deal, do, otherwise do. Oh, and it gives me happiness too. So it's, even though this, the text kind of garbage, it's, it pays off. Okay, I guess I get iron off of him. Oh no, I can just get gold. What the fuck? Nice, big chunky chunk of gold. Yeah, and iron and salt too. Okay, if it's free, I'll take it. Uh, oh, do I? Oh, yeah, I don't have salt, Peter. So I guess that was a good thing to get. Okay, uh, I can do Magellan's as a pre-build actually. Uh, that's nice. Yeah, let's get a samurai here. This is a good time to take a golden age too. So I'm happy. And Persia and Arabia. Hmm. And where's Persia? Good. Okay. 
So that makes up for the happiness I lost. Uh, do I still have four, right? Yeah, okay. I could even probably take this back down. How small was my starting island? My starting island was, don't worry guys, my starting island was this one where Kyoto is and not this one. It's pretty small though. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you have to pay what they're, they're asking for. It's okay to give five techs for one if it's a one tech that you really need. Yeah, I'm glad people appreciate Japan. Even when I'm not like directly using their traits, they always feel like a safe choice, which I appreciate. Like, okay, it's like, okay, if I fall behind and did need to fight, I'd be, I'd have the tools to do it. Which with some like expansion sieves, you don't, you don't feel that way. Hmm. I might lose my iron if I'm not careful. You know what? By the time his caravels get to Yokohama, I think I'll be able to make peace with him. Uh, sure. At least I can actually guard that iron city. Uh, I can plant forests to improve my production. Kind of... Okay, I should probably move these guys into a better position. I really just want my golden age, so... Take what I can get. That is a lot of boats. Okay, time to bring stuff over, I guess. Oh, my production went down the tubes because I'm using all these coastal tiles. Yeah, I might get overrun here if I'm not careful. He's just kind of hanging there. What's he doing? Okay, well, we have these guys for a reason. What's your favorite non-UU or wonder unit? Bombers. Uh, I've made a list of the best units. Uh, in terms of like a personal pet favorite, I like Marines, I guess. You'd, I don't get many opportunities to use them, but when I do, I, I, I generally enjoy it. it. They're only really good if you're a hidden tech, though. That's uh, why they're kind of not ideal. So at least there's no like there's no tiles that they can land that aren't on that aren't like just flat land, right? They can't get a defense bonus. Are they doing like a simultaneous invasion where they land every single tile at once? I would love to see that from the AI, but I don't think it's especially likely. Uh, I think this barely works out that I can still get the pre-build transfer transferred over. Uh, okay, garlic swordsman. That's a UU, of course, but I, I, I'm quite fond of them. Celts and MPT, like in multiplayer tournament uh, scenario, is just crazy fun to play with. Uh, 
That's not connected to the ocean? I don't think so, no. That's not possible. Game's buggy. It's not that buggy, though. In Delphi. Ah, yeah. T technically, yeah. Because uh, this counts as... This is like an inland sea because it's enough tiles. Oh, sorry. It has sea. It's not even... Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Must not have been a very long voyage that Magellan took over there. <laughs> okay. Uh, Scandinavia. I guess metal. Finally, they fucking landed. Jesus. How long does that... Why does that take so long? Good. Nice. My production transferred over. So if... Uh, I think if, like, next turn I'm safe to trade away the tech because there's nothing else they can pre-build with. Oh, Shakespeare's Theater. Weird. Okay, he's actually got a lot here. And I'm not in position. Am I in position? Oh, yeah, I am. I'm actually in position. Okay, I'll grab some very expensive upgrades. So first, we attack with these guys. Okay. Yeah, I just want the Golden Age, so... Oh, I just lost my samurai. There we go, finally. Huh. Oh, that is what it is. Yeah, make peace. Okay, uh, we need to get him out of our, out of our land first. Um, yeah, like, if, you, if they land your island, then don't make peace until you get them out of the island, if you can help it. Because they just will absolutely not fuck off. Oh, that was a risk. Okay, uh, so next turn their pre-build will have expired. Uh, he just landed a bunch more ancient calves, which is really annoying. Okay, I think we can attack with the archer here. Yeah, uh, so now we open with the Sams. I think if we get, like, perfect RNG here, we can actually get them at least mostly gone from this island. Okay, we go Samurais first, because the Longbows can technically retreat. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, so we have... Yeah, perfect RNG will do it. Oh, now we, now we need a really perfect RNG. Fuck me. <laughs> yes. Nice, yeah, because... I. I have nothing else to attack with here, right? And then he might have run, ran away against the longbow. So we just got really lucky. So we can make peace now, and he's off our island. Okay. Yeah, it won't even give us a world map. Still, the threat has been neutralized. Uh, so we wait at one turn. We can grab Tog. Tog being Theory of Gravity. Hey, Fox Shoot. I'm doing pretty good. That was... Yeah, I, I got really good uh, RNG there. Okay, later, Game Edition. Thanks for tuning in again. Yeah, we definitely have some fun stuff when we do streams. This game has reached like a, a more stable state, but sometimes it gets really, really dicey early to the wall. I like doing like a mix of winning and losing games, I find. When I do YouTube videos, it's all wins, which is, gets kind of stale eventually. Hmm. Uh, did I, oh yeah, sorry, I didn't fix the, I didn't trade. So I can grab a bunch of shit off. Yeah, so I'll go Scandinavia first. I really could not give a shit about democracy. Nice, if it gives me more money. What the fuck? Huh. 
Okay. Uh, I do not want that deal to expire, so I'm going to actually boost my military right now, just so he doesn't declare war on me. Okay, so that's done. Grab some ivory, too. Yeah, he doesn't hate me. Okay, nice. So yeah, my economy is just through the roof now. And that's how you catch up and pull ahead, actually. Yeah, they in the middle late, late Middle Ages they fuck around with like music theory and all that shit. So if you just if you just go straight for like physics into this stuff, you can get if if you if you fuck if you fuck up like if they get something else. It's not the end of the world. Uh, but if it works, it's, it's just so wonderful. Okay, now we're going to get Wheel of the King's Day, so less... Uh, I think we have every Lux on the planet, actually. Uh, no, we're missing something. Whatever these guys have. Oh, the, I think the French have their silks pillaged, and that's what the problem is. And they have one silk. Might send some workers on a boat to hook those silks for myself. <laughs> for him, but then pay him to get it for me. Like a good neighbor would. I'm going to plant some cherry trees in your yard to uh, pick those cherries for myself. At a fair market rate. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just hit and turn a bunch. Keep building those samurais. How's units cap? Not an issue. How do we only have 23 units here? I guess all of our workers are slave workers, pretty much. Yeah, our economy is ridiculous. Look at that. Golden Age plus the uh, commerce bonus. Do we have a barracks here? Miracle. You know what? We'll give you that for currency. Okay, so we're first civ in the next era. Uh, so we just go straight for steam power, of course. Need to see where that coal is. Need to start railing. Uh, we're going to need some, um, some extra workers to railroad. Yeah, we'll grab... Oh, uh, not yet, I guess. We need to mine a bit more. I didn't think we'd need this, but... We absolutely do need to mine more here. Ah, London doesn't have market yet. Criminal. Steam in seven. Yeah, that's that's fast. Given where we started, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. How long has that been going on? Stop it. First civ into the industrial era on Monarch. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Spoonwood. I mean, we're pretty late. Like, in terms of the turn limit, we're late. But... Yeah, we could just hit and turn a bunch. Clean this up. Uh, okay, uh, these guys got uh, magnetism, actually. Uh, 
Uh, I, I usually like getting democracy. Oh, uh, we'll see. I don't want to... In case one of them... Yeah, we'll see what Greece got. Um, medicine. Okay, that's actually ideal. Let's actually buy this university because I want to start pumping out workers here. Because we're going to need some when the coal comes. Some asshole with the motorcycle outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but oh no, this is, I'm using the microphone where you probably can't hear that. But rural Canada being rural Canada right now. Uh, How did you get the or small town more? How did I get the Golden Age? Uh, the, the Greeks attacked. I fought them off. Killed a bunch of their shit. And I got a Golden Age that way. And I got my first wonder. Nice. Yeah. How would you lose? Uh, if, if you want the save file, cool kid. If you want to try it out, I'd, I'd recommend it. Do you have the ocean crossing tech? Yeah, I got magnetism and I have navigation. So I got both of them. So I can trade for, for Lux and stuff like that. Uh, it should be workers actually. We don't need any additional food. Uh, Nagoya, let's just have you build. It'd be nice to stack pop here, but let's go for rails, actually. Actually, we don't really need production. What do we need production for? There's no hurry to railroad. It's good to do, but... Uh, all my armies have died. I, I lost three armies. Do 100% research and you're building a bank, yeah. Uh, so I'm getting 181 gold per turn from other civs right now. Probably do more if I wasn't lazy. Nice. Ah, that'll help France. Does France have saltpeter? They are. They're just short. It's one towel away from their borders in two different places. Uh, yeah, I got. I can do Hoover Dam in London, I think. Uh, we might not have coal, though, so we might have to trade for it. But again, like, these guys are strong enough that we could probably just get it from them. Having to trade for coal is not the end of the world at all. And it's guaranteed that somebody else has them has it. I'll just do buildings. I'm feeling pretty safe. Sure. I, I really don't care. I'm just light years ahead in terms of economic management. Oh, my wine's expired from you. Uh, fuck. Did he threaten me there? Or did he just like ask to continue that trade deal that was just me giving him something? I don't even know. Looks like it didn't matter losing the wines. Okay, uh, what did Greece get in the new era? Uh, take whatever gold per turn I can. 
Yeah, just make them broke. Uh, I need to know where they might have coal. Okay, they don't have coal, but someone's gonna have coal. And I'm gonna have to give them. Okay, so I don't have coal clearly, unless it's like in an unroaded tile or something. Yeah, so who's got two coals? Persia almost certainly. Yeah, they got a crappy ironwork city. I know how much. Is that Majid who like always asked me to build ironwork cities? So they have two coals, so we could do them. Uh, France, of all people, actually has double coal. And the nice thing about picking up medicine is I can I can trade medicine for the coal. Uh, Greece actually has two. He just doesn't have one hooked, it seems. Yeah. Persia actually got these three cities off the Vikings. Good for them. Yeah, I don't want to make Persia any stronger. Uh, I think France, if they have the coal hooked, is the good person to ask. Yeah, coal is like pretty much literally only used for railroads, so as long as you get the railroads done, it's not the end of the world not having it. Unless you're like pushing an enemy land, you need to be continuously railing. They just used coal plants and factories. What was the idea behind the game? Uh, you don't need armies, like if, if you have coal plants instead of hydro plants, you can just clean up with... Uh, with workers it's, it's marginally more unit support and micromanagement but that's it it doesn't really impact the game at all so yeah uh, i'll actually sell you won't actually give me gold per turn that's a shame i'm not going to give him medicine because i don't want to devalue steam power in fact yeah uh, but France would trade it to him otherwise, so. Oh, wait, fuck, is this hooked? This is not hooked. Oh, my God. Is there literally anyone on this planet with two coals? It's got to be Persia, then. One coal. One coal. God bless your hearts. Okay, it looks like we got to give Persia a bit of an... So this is kind of risky, because Persia might have medicine as the free tech. Okay, thank God. Okay. Oh, actually. Fuck, I'm not going to say no to that. Uh, I'll, still have to, I'll have to pay him for the coal, but... I don't have that many cities, right? So I don't pay that much for res. Like, this is what the goal is for. Like, if you need the gold, you spend the gold. Don't fucking hoard it like a, a dragon, you know? I say as I squeeze every last penny I can possibly squeeze out of Persia. Okay, here's nationalism. Uh, yeah, now I just... Oh, that's not that much, yeah. Okay, I still have plenty left over. Uh, do this. Probably this, that, 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 and hit enter in a bunch. Let's do some railing. Uh, oh, we can do Smiths. Uh, Greece. That was Arabia, huh? Uh, I planted dents for unit support while I was in despotism, and now unit support's no longer an issue, so I abandoned it so that I'd have less global corruption. Uh, I could actually do Nagoya too, maybe. Yeah, it's just born pretty much 
drive Nagoya into the ground for workers and then abandon. So it makes these cities less corrupt. That's not the most efficient way to be allocating my workers, but I, I, I don't give a shit. Can I win by the end of the hour? Uh, maybe. What time is it? No, what have I done? Ah, God. Restream chat is the bane of my existence. Uh, I, I don't hate long... I, like, if you can get Wheel of the King Day without, like, expending anything on it, I think it's a good thing to do. Because I'm not paying any gold to... Like, all the gold I'm paying to civs is for... Uh, for tax. But if you can get it just for, like, an exchange for your tax or an exchange... Yeah, then you might as well. By the end of the hour, oh, time is it? fucking. It's two ten. Okay, yeah. By the end of the hour, that's that's doable. Yeah. Uh, it probably isn't, but I, I don't think there's a more interesting way to play this out. You know, like we could conquer somebody. That would be pretty equally boring. Uh, it's not like we were playing as Germany. We have Panzers. And do some rifle, a rifle, and then that, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you don't build a courthouse in your uh, capital, but you do build a courthouse in your Forbidden Palace city. Uh, because there is still some corruption there. Arabs? Are the Arabs landing me or something? Sure. I, I just don't give a shit. Ah, double spice, but there's no point paying for it. it. Looks like they're up to something. Yeah, I should get more units. Hmm, I, I got electricity and I didn't realize. Do you think you'll be able to find a girl who will also be able to play Civ? Uh, one of my I played Civ three with one of my exes. Uh, like all like co op versus the AI. It was only one game. She played Age of Mythology. She played like uh, turn uh real time strategy games. So it wasn't like completely unfamiliar for her. Um, it's kind of like an area of my life where like it would be intim. Oh fuck off. It would be intimidating to like explain this area of my life fully you know so it doesn't really matter though like you don't need to have all of the same hobbies as the people you date and i like a lot of my other holidays are ho or sorry a lot of my other hobbies are hobbies that are much much more likely for women to be interested in i, I like singing for example and, and music um cooking i guess i not as much as I should. I, I like cooking for myself. I like I'm I like cooking, but I'm very lazy. Uh, yeah, I, I like watching like rom coms and stuff like that. So, as long as like you have something in common with the people you're dating, like you need to share common hobbies and interests, but you don't need to share all of your common hobbies and interests. Yeah, like, if you're into gaming and you're, like, having trouble finding a girlfriend, I'd, I'd recommend not looking for a gamer girl TM. I mean, if you can find one, that's fantastic. But um, focus on getting hobbies that... What hobbies do other people... Like, it doesn't have to be, like, super girly ho hobbies. It could be, like, outdoors stuff or sports. Um, but just, like, a, a wider array of, ho array of hobbies. And that way, like, if you when you meet someone, you're you're guaranteed to share something. Uh, 
Uh, second wives are... <laughs> I'm not sure how much you're getting. <laughs> Sing Baba Yetu. Ah... Uh... I I don't know the lyrics, right? So this is going to be a bit challenging, but That's not bad. Uh, I I used to like I think I did one stream where I scattered like the modern theme from Civ 3, the la da da you can throw in some hand claps around there, make it a little spicy, a little jazzy. Have some fun with it, you know? Anyway, that's why I don't have a girlfriend. Sweet. As long as he's staying broke, I'm happy giving him texts in exchange for texts I don't need. Ooh, can do military. Ca ah, I don't fucking care. <laughs> yeah, so if you have 40 minutes to ask me whatever weird question. I, I like these. I'm enjoying these questions right now. So if you have any weird questions like that, uh, feel free. I, I like that about like the game that I stream, that it's nice that there's some games that are very heavy action and I don't talk, I, I I might not even interact with the audience at all. And there's others where it's a bit mixed, and then there's others where it's like I got a lot of time and I can interact as much as I want and the game goes fine. It's a good balance. God, I actually think I, I sang the, the modern theme probably better than I sang Baba Yet. I, I haven't heard Baba Yet too in so long, so. Some of them is like, it's also like a harmonized song. There's like a bunch of different so I was like, I couldn't tell whether I was supposed to go like up, like totally up a register or like just sing the bass, you know? Yeah, I'm not that good at singing, but like you have to understand, like if you're getting into singing as a guy, the bar is pretty low. Like if you can just like sing, passably sing a post, yeah, like maybe not most women but like a, a significant minority of women just they do like choir as a kid or just something like that like they don't have like formal voice, voice training but they have sang a bunch during their lifetime and so they can sing passably they can't like hit all the 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 important notes but they can like hold a tune and then that's really just the level you need to be able to get to to have fun with it uh and it's not that hard although there are definitely some tunes that I cannot hold. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't really need that. Okay. Um, how long does this take? Nine. Oh, that's good timing. Okay. Yeah, let's just do automate. Railing the deers. Oh, that's important. A very high priority job there. Oh, I'm still at war, aren't I? kind of forgot are right, just going for mass tech by spamming commerce for harbor for commerce if i mean i'm a republic i get decent commerce from land tiles too i'm just gonna f it's it's monarch right you just have a be in republic build the important buildings have high city population have like a normal amount of like one like one eighth of the world's land area on a standard map, less even, and don't be over the unit support cap. If you do all of those things, oh, and trade. If you do all of those things, your economy will be absolutely fantastic on Monarch, and you can just cruise to a victory. Uh, did I make peace with the Arabs, or was I not able? I was not able. Uh, 
Okay, so let's get a after let's say after this game, we'll play some um, some multiplayer. We'll get a new player game going because I think there's a few people interested in that. Uh, could you guys let me know? Is anyone interested here interested in playing a new player game? Oh, or we could test play test GeoCiv. Up to you guys. Uh, if anyone's watching, oh Pug, if you're watching and you want to play test GeoCiv, uh, definitely we can make that happen. Um, so I probably want, yeah, oh, I'm still building workers, huh? Oh, get this first, actually. And that's fine, honestly. Okay, um, eh, we'll keep it around. I'm too lazy to abandon it. Could do a QC or GSO. Okay, yeah, we'll do some GeoCiv then. Uh, but if the new players want to do, I mean, the new players are welcome to play GeoCiv. Yeah, as long as they have voice chat, because we're still playtesting this new mod, this new very ridiculous mod. Uh, and so, yeah, you'd need to be in voice chat to know what was going on. But new players could do that. Or if you, there's enough interest, we could do a new player game too. The You saw the corruption thing? Or are you talking about this game? It's not so bad here. Yeah, As long as you're getting like some shields, I don't mind so much. Okay, uh, I'll turn off our, it doesn't, it, we could just leave our tech on, who cares. We lost our coal? How dare they? I'll see about that, Persia. Okay, that's Persia, we'll do Scandinavia. Sweet. Greece. That's a lot of gold. Okay. Um, yeah. Done in two turns. Ah, uh, yeah. So as soon as you get to the industrial era, if you're playing on a, if you like have a decent amount of land area and you have a good economy, the game pretty much just becomes go to UN, go directly to UN. Do not pass sanitation, do not collect $200. <laughs> Did you see my solution? To, uh, you, you can't do that, Pug. Um, So you need like whatever the the number. So if you program the Forbidden Palace effect into something in the editor, then you can't build that until you have like ten cities or twelve cities, or it depends on the the OCE. Sorry, the uh, OCN. But yeah, it's it's restrictive. We could just give like like make most of the early cheap buildings give reduced corruption. I think that'd be appropriate too. Uh, nice. I turned my tech on. Thank God. I wish there was like a global tech or building queue that's like tell the cities to automatically build this in this order like still make me approve it manually but uh, at least I wouldn't have to individually set all these build queues unless it was like an unusual city what's the city number for tiny who knows wow the Arabs really thought they could take me with two caravels full of units Neat. Is this still not built? Oh my god, it's still not built. <laughs> if I can get it, I'll get it.
Oh, um, I can build Hoover Dam, actually. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Uh, disbanded into wealth. Uh, I wanted my factory. Yeah, that's about right. That's really all we need. I think it's only on the continent, right? So it's only on this continent. That's still a nice little bonus. So I've learned that stock exchanges are actually worth building because uh, for Wall Street, at least. Who did that? I should have done all these trades at once. Ah, come on. Maybe I should have used that as a pre-build. Yeah. Do Canadians play with Boardwalk or Mayfair? Uh, I think we play with Boardwalk. Yeah, we played with Boardwalk. I think my parents are like weirdly British influenced. Like, uh, I think two of my grandparents were born in Europe. Um, like my dad says tomato instead of tomato. Uh, so I think there was like a, a copy of the British Monopoly floating around the house when I was younger. But uh, sorry, if you guys have been been asking more interesting questions i guess i should pay more attention you can go into governor and amplify buildings in that area uh yeah like the science buildings that might work focus science buildings but uh, it's i don't know fuck jesus christ dude really the worst Oh, he's got calves. That's awkward. Good thing I have this one frigate. That's out of moves. Yeah, nice. I got Hastings back. Okay. Uh, I could line my coasts, but uh, that, that seems like more work than just building shit. Okay, barracks into to calves, I guess. At least it's not Scandinavia. Oh, fu what the fuck, man? Uh, barracks, calves, yeah. I should have just built more units. Uh, you're currently fishing on a lake? Wow, incredible. Damn, well, it sounds like you're having a better time than I am. I'm just playing Civ 3. And being really salty about someone having a better experience than I am. Okay, yeah, I guess I should follow what I'm... Do what I said I wanted to do. Okay, let's get... We just need, like, one irrigation. Like, here. This will, like, literally double the growth speed of these cities. Here and here. On the bonus grasslands, of course. I'm trying to think if there could be a building earlier than courthouse that would be built for some reduction in corruption waste. Uh, in this specific scenario, we could just give like the market and all the the basic shit reduce corruption. The aqueduct already has it. Oh, we can actually get parts. That's a big stack.
Should I attack into this? I think with the retreat function, it's probably worth it attacking. Well, if he doesn't have a didn't have a golden age, he's gonna get one now. He probably got one from wonders. Oh, okay, this has just become a non-issue. I thought I just lost my army again, but no. Ah, uh, thank God. Let's check out Persia. Ah, gold, sure. Uh, there's no more lux I can get. I need peace with Greece. This is stupid. Oh, he just attacked into me and fucking died. Hilarious. Okay, I just need to watch for landings. Oh, sweet infantry and artillery and whatever gorillas or something, I don't know. Lost our supply of most things. Uh, Persia, yeah, I guess we give them atomic theory. That was poorly timed, but Jesus, Persia's really pulling away with things. Um, but yeah, they're establishing a foothold here. Uh, we have oil, good. Um, rubber in our cap, interesting, okay. Yeah, notice how even though we chopped the forest, we still get the rubber. So don't hold on to your jungle on account of that. I know some people think it's, that's the case, but it's not. Did I just get like a take of war awareness or something? Fuck off. Okay, I'll just do this. Sure. Steel, nice. Can I close this out within the hour? What you should be asking is, how could I fuck this up within the next hour? That's the far more interesting question. Okay, Greece has... I'll check if he hasn't eaten some my land. We're both green, but pretty clearly he does not. Okay. Be a nice guy, some atomic theory for all this crap. Sure. And now, yeah, we can go up. Okay, definitely continue units, building units till we're at the cap at least. Uh, we'll need a full debrief of what res gives what in GeoCiv. So you can just like right click on the res, right? It says, if you right click, it'll say like a rating district. Uh, iron and gold you can mine and then nothing else is mineable. There's just two mineable resources now. 
Recently, I got acquainted from a Canadian from Toronto. The first thing that came to my mind, isn't he literally... <laughs> I'm not from Toronto, no. Uh, it's, I'm very flattered that you think I'm the, the owner of a business, but... <laughs> no, this channel itself is the, the highest capacity of my entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, sorry, Orangin, you haven't been back. You haven't played multiplayer in a while. Let us know if you want to play another game. We'd like to bring back QC, so if you're interested, there's there's definitely some people who'd be on board for that. We also have some fun new mods, too. Ah, the voice cadence, huh. I wonder if that's an accent thing or just like linked to the individual. Us Canadians don't like to think of ourselves as like having strong accents, but I mean, it's more that the case that like our our accents sound like a neutral American accent or like a Midwestern American accent, so it just sounds kind of not regional. But it is, you know. Most people don't speak English the way I speak English. Uh, so if this was on a higher difficulty at this point, we'd probably want to do some island hopping to like secure a, a bigger eco economic lead. But it's not really important here. Like you, you might notice, we're not like dramatically outticking the AI. Ah, you give yourself a very strong compliment there, Polymath. High praise. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I am from Ontario, so I'm like within the same province as Toronto. As Tirana, as those people might say. Okay, I'm going to grab some hospitals. Okay, I think this is enough units. Uh, I'm at the unit cap, which I, I guess I'm not going to be at the unit cap once I build my hospitals, but... Yeah, let's get this all queued up now. Do you think I've all... Oh, I did one stream of Civ Five content, Lucas. If you go wait, it's actually the first stream on my channel if you check. Uh, so if you're interested, do that. Uh, I'm actually working on a video for Civ Four of all things, like an introduction to the Civ Four multi... It's not going to be a big video, but uh, Civ Five, unless I have a brain aneurysm, it's not very likely. What do the power graphs show? Well, that's a good idea. Let's have a look. Uh, how's my score? Oh, I'm actually not that high in score. Oh, hmm. 
I guess I'm low land area, low population, relatively. Yeah, it's happening. I'm hyped. Finally getting a good Hoover Dam in a game. Uh, we could build some bombers just to be careful. At that point, the chance of them killing us goes to absolutely zero. Oh, we can do Battlefield Medicine. Call Persia. I don't think we need that even. Oh, thank you, Miles. So, Miles, do you have any idea for our next stream? I I'd like to do one multiplayer stream after this one. Oh, okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll, yeah, I'll definitely do single player like the the wait fifty turns. But would you like me to see to see me do it on Pangaea or on continents? And is there any particular sieve you want to see me do it as? Ah, okay. My my deal with Greece fucking expired. Okay, uh, that's. Ew. Uh, Scandinavian's kind of fallen off a bit. Yeah, I probably should be microing to get more out of these deals. That'll get fixed. Yeah, you're... Both Pangaea and Continents? Uh, I could do random, I guess. That'd be interesting, because I'd like I wouldn't have a lot of information at the start of the game because of uh, the obvious factor. Having to wait fifty turns or however many. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll I'll have to wait I'll wait until I see someone. That might be an interesting challenge. Although that might actually be easier on Pangaea than <laughs> If I wait on Archipelago, that'll be waiting a long time, I guess. We'll find some kind of in-between that, like, scales appropriately. Yeah, we do, the hospitals, the one perk is we get one extra unit support per city by building the hospital. Yeah, it, it's a shame, like, having, like, it's it's nice knowing that there's some sort of community uh, playing the game you love so much. I'd, I'd hate if, like, the, I, I'm trying to think of, like, a comparable game that I, I loved so much as a kid. I like Time Splitters and the Tony Hawk saga, but those there's communities for all those games, so. Oh, finally. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, this makes things a lot easier. Okay, who am I running against here? I think I might be even running against two people. Probably, yeah, I'll do Scandinavia and Persia just to be safe. Do people like me? Really, I'm actually not running against Greece. Hmm. You had oil on the southern island? Yeah, I got my oil right here, so everything's okay.
Pangea on Emperor with 16 civs, but you can only take on one civ per age until modern. That sounds like a balanced approach. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll... Yeah, we'll, we'll do that in some capacity. Uh, like, I do just, like, routinely, like, just to do, like, casual games where I, I just don't take it too seriously. Kind of like the first half of the stream. Like, there sh it shouldn't be, like, just super easy autopilot like this, ideally, but... Not, like, super try-hard. Like, just so I have a chance to talk to my viewers. Ah, uh, which I don't always get. Am I being embargoed or something? What's going on? Uh, so yeah, that, that, I, I, like, and I like conquering, but I don't want to conquer too much to the point where the game just becomes a foregone conclusion. So I think one civ per era is like a good, nice rule. Uh, you said a large map, or 16 civs, that's huge. Yeah, I, I could do that. It's only like when I have to micro everything that playing on large maps gets really bad. This is large. Not huge, but large. Yeah, we'll say uh, two weeks from now, maybe. Because uh, I want to do multiplayer next week. And we'll maybe see if I can work in some way of doing, uh, like, waiting 20 turns or something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe wait 20 turns, Emperor Pangea. Hmm, interesting. I guess I haven't really been uh, attuned to global uh, diplomatic news. Because I haven't had the embassies, but I do now. Bomber stack, I would, I don't need one, you know? It's Game's over in four turns. Of course, yeah. I mean, it is like a template that I generally do enjoy doing. Uh, so yeah, I'd be happy to do it. Let me know what Civ you want me to play. Because there's no like Civ that I just look at and it's like, yeah, I, I just cannot play that Civ. I just do not have fun with that Civ. Um... If I'm doing like a hard challenge, I might want not, not want to do particular sieves because they're not good or because they're too good, maybe. Um, or because I've done them too recently. Uh, yeah, the game starts soon, uh, Pug. Uh, so for people who are interested in testing a new... it's. It's like a fantasy mod inspired by Age of Discovery, but it's built for multiplayer, like it wouldn't work in single player. If you're interested in testing that, uh, definitely join the Discord, and you'll need voice comms for it, uh, but it should be a lot of fun. So we just grab the United Nations. Uh, let's start that war now, then. So who am I going to be running against? Uh, let's check the exact requirements, because it's... Uh, okay, victory conditions... Diplomacy. Control at least 25% of the world's land area and population. Oh, so I'm only going to be running against one player. So it's just the player with the most population. So Persia. Okay, I guess I may okay, declare war on Persia now. Damn, these are high product productivity cities, but he never really got his po his population very high in a lot of these, so that explains part of why he fell behind in uh, in science. Why am I even doing that? Ah, fuck. Yeah, he's polite. Yeah, just being polite and not being higher uh, opinion with the, the other candidates, which of course he isn't because he's at war with the other candidate, is enough for him to make them vote for you. Like 100% guaranteed. France has always liked me. Uh, Greece cannot be picky. Oh, huh. 
Uh, I can't do mutual... I think a bunch of scissors are at war with him, so I can't do mutual protection pact. Oh, I can just give him rubber, though. Sure, enjoy your golden age, man. Okay. Really, the world map that puts over or puts it over the top for you. Well, I'm not going to complain. Huh, I wonder why he's not going to do this. Well, that's okay. I, I've, it's rare to see that, but he's polite with me. He might still vote for me. Okay, yeah, there we go. So the kicker is that being in a military alliance with you makes them really like you too. So it's a double whammy for getting them to vote for you and not for the other person. Hey, Lindarian. Common isn't quite happy. Yes, absolutely. So it's not the best government for generally for commerce, but it has the highest production with big enough empires. So that's why, even though I, I love Republic to death, the communism is better in a lot of circumstances. Mm. Maybe they have a mutual protection pact to the, the Arabs and the Persian. Arabs and the Persians, that'd be worth checking. So yeah, let me begin Starxes, like I said. Okay, so Abu Bakr actually voted for him, but everybody else voted for me. Congratulations to me, we won a diplomatic victory. Again, so I know it's kind of boring that I always do diplomatic victories, and I have won games in, like just to, to prove that I can, or just to have fun with it. I've won games in different ways, but mostly it's just about like getting into a position where you can win, and then closing out the game is pretty much just a formality. So yeah, that's why I continue to go for diplomatic victories and don't mix it up. I do mix it up a bit, but maybe not as much as I you might expect me to. And uh, Civ 3 on Steam, of course, classic uh, crashing after the victory. That's okay, we had fun. So I would direct you guys, if you want to come play multiplayer with us, join the Civ 3 multiplayer Discord and join the voice chat. I'll be in the voice chat. We'll be playtesting the scenario together. It'll be a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys there. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Uh, I, I kind of want to watch the replay. We'll, we'll control out delete it. Japan winning on the UN. I mean, they're kind of like, I think they've given up their military conquest goals and they're going for a, uh, a cultural victory now. Everybody in the West learning uh, Japanese, that's what it is. So yeah, not too far in the alternate universe. It's one of the nearer universes. Yeah, if you, if you do it fast enough, it, it should work. But I can just retire. Uh, yeah, this doesn't really tell us anything we didn't already know, except for the Ottomans here. It's islands. It's not like we're going to see some epic back-and-forth combat. Uh, Ottomans had good land, though, so let's see. Yeah, looks like their expansion phase went okay. They got, actually, at least half the island. Lots of mountains there. Interesting how the Persians were able to, to win it. I guess the immortals are just that good. Yeah, none of these were me. They had an extra hundred years of accumulating culture that I didn't. Uh, I think my Jed wanted to see the power graph, so here we are. Yeah, I, like after killing England, I just barely... I start to eke my way forward. Uh, but Greece, Scandinavia, Persia are the big boys. Uh, score this is more linear. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I didn't exist for the longest time, I guess. Zero. History will remember us as the meek. Only the meek. Ha! <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, we're playtesting Geosiv, which which you are very welcome to come. But yeah, I'm done the stream for now.